First question, Dylan. What's up, Luke? Good to see you back. Uh, you're fighting one of Bellator's biggest hype trains, the top prospect in the organization. I'm sure you know that. Uh, will it feel sweeter? Will victory feel sweeter to derail a hype train like Sullivan Kali? Will it feel, will victory feel a little bit better taking someone's O off the record? Uh, I'm not focused on the hype, the, all the whole hype train and all that sort of jazz. I think uh, the media builds that and that's great and, and that's, uh, that's good for him. But yeah, I'm focused on me, man. So get the W. Um, that's all I care about. It could be against anyone. It is what it is. The fight's the fight. So, uh, yeah. Sullivan Colley has finished all of his opponents as a professional in the first round. You finish fights as well. Is this going down in the first round? Yeah, I think I've got five first round, five first round finishes, uh, and one second round finish. And yeah, I needed like 10 seconds in the Bahati fight and I would have got him out in the, uh, in the first round too. So yeah, that's nothing new, man. And that's what happens. You're supposed to finish fights in the first round. If you're good, especially when you start, you start to, you start and you fight, uh, you know, lesser opponents and you build and blah, blah, blah. And that's what he done. That's what he's done. That's what everyone does. So I'm not surprised about that. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's nothing new, man. And he's a light heavyweight. Do you know what I'm saying? Like we're supposed to get the, get the easier guys out in the first. If you don't, then it's not a good sign. Luke right here. Um, so with a big win here coming on Friday night, uh, going in deeper into 2023, what would you like to see coming, coming to your, into your way? Yeah. I'm, uh, when I say this, I'm not looking past, uh, Sully at all. I'm, uh, fully focused on this fight, fully ready for a dog fight for a war. Um, but once I get this win, I'm going back to the UK. I want to rematch beyond, um, take his head off and then, uh, and then I'll get to re-sign with Bellator after that, make some real money, uh, and just carry on, man. But yeah, that's the, that's the plan. And last, last but not least, let me ask you this. How was the training camp? How, how'd you feel the past couple months and, uh, how did everything go in the gym leading up to this week? Yeah, very good, man. Very good. It's, uh, it's been a very testing camp. I've had a lot of stuff go on personally in this one. Um, it's going to make the victory even more sweet, but, uh, yeah, the camp's been hard. Life's been hard for the past three, three months for myself and my family. And this is going to be, this is going to be a nice release, man, to get out all of my demons. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Hey, Luke, uh, for those who don't know, what is your favorite food? Bloody hell, that's a tough one. All these other ones are easy. Uh, something sweet, man, something sweet. I don't know. Let's go for a Krispy Kreme donut with like some ice cream. And extra whipped cream. I always, uh, or you got Chinese, brother. Chinese takeaway in England's good too. Um, and then you got pizza as well. Bro, how long have we got? Something like that. Yeah, something like that. We'll do a couple from the internet here. Patrick? Hey, Luke. This is Pat McCoy from Combat Sports. Okay, how are you doing today? What's happening, brother? I'm good. Thank you. I'm doing well. Obviously, this is your US debut. How, how have you adjusted to the time difference? You know, when did you get to California? So I flew into San Diego on my own on Friday, uh, so I could have a few extra days to acclimatize. Um, I'm 100% acclimatized now. I'm going to bed at around 11, 12 o'clock. I'm waking up at around eight, nine o'clock. My pops just got in a couple of days ago and he's still like waking up at three in the morning, <laughs> sneaking around, trying not to wake me up. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm acclimatized. Uh, I love it here. I love fighting in California. This is beautiful to have some sunshine in my life. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, my body and mind is fully ready to go, man. Aaron? Hey, Luke, this is Aaron East from MMA UK News, man. I hope you're doing well. What's happening, brother? All right, man. Right, um, just, just double question here. How regularly would you like to be fighting this year? And are there any cards you have your eye on at all? I want four. I want four fights. I've kept it a secret from my missus that you guys have a Bellator in Hawaii. Um, she's going to be very upset when she sees that. Uh, I think it's going to be too short a notice to take. I think it's in April. Um, but yeah, I want three or four fights. I want to I wanna really make some money this year. I've got some big plans outside of MMA and I want to start that rolling this year. So I need the funds behind me. Um, but yeah, other than that, I want to be active, man. I think now the Bellator is fully rolling and they seem to be wanting to roll with me. Um, yeah, let's go. Whether it's in the States, whether it's in flipping Italy or the North Pole, I don't care. Just get me fighting 
And uh, let's make some money and take some scalps, man. I'm ready to go. Santiago. Hi, Luke. Hello from Amsterdam. And thank you for the time. My Bellator man, post. What's that, Santiago, <laughs> I recognize your voice from my first fight in uh, Italy, right? Yeah, and we spoke also uh, after after your last fight uh, in Italy in last year. That was also nice. Congratulations with that one as well. And look, I wanted to ask you about Bellator posted a clip of you talking about being important for other people and about your bigger picture plan. How proud are you to be able to do that on this big Bellator platform? Yeah, it's great. It's great. I'm representing... Uh the fostering network for this fight as my last. Um, I've had a bunch of people reach out to me since they posted that video yesterday um, about fostering, telling me whether they've been fostered or uh, they're thinking about fostering. Um, it's a beautiful thing when I can encourage people to get involved. And it, doesn't ha- it doesn't mean you have to be a foster carer. If you have a skill, any life skill that you can offer to children who need nothing but love and guidance, then do it. Um, so yeah, it's it's become a beautiful thing that that's now my message. I haven't tried to get that across. Like I, I've just spoke about my life, and then it's better to have kind of done their media stuff, and and they've they've turned it into they've turned it into this massive thing. And I love them for that, man. It's uh, they've put so many eyeballs onto it. So I'm just glad I can hold the torch. And uh, all respect to everyone in the care system, all the children out there struggling. You know, I'm here for you and uh, all the kids back home. I'm coming back very soon. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I love Bellator for doing that. Last one here, Darren. Thank you for your time, Luke. When you win a big fight, like you're going to win very soon, what does the celebration look like? And how long do you take off in your personal life from fighting like that? So, uh, like I said previously, I've got a lot of personal things going on right now with my family. and. Uh, once, once I get this W, um, I'm taking some time to really spend some time with them. It's taken, obviously, like everyone else, this, this, this camp has taken me away from my family. I travel about six hours a day for my two to three training sessions. So I'm basically out the house from seven o'clock. I get back at about 11 o'clock and I get to see my family on a Sunday. So I need to spend some time with them. We're, we're celebrating in California for a little bit, but we need to uh, we need to be together now more than anything. So um, I'm taking some time off celebrating with them. And then uh, I'll be back within about a week, but it'll be light training. And then two weeks after that, I'm back in the mix. I'm ready to go again. But um, yeah, that time off for me for this one's going to be super important for me and my family. Appreciate the time, Luke. Thank you, brother. Oh, is that it? Oh, perfect. Thank you. Cheers, guys.